Thank you so much for watching Tomohushita Music. Today, I'm going to show you how to learn triads, a little bit more for soloing, you know, not just three notes, a little bit more notes, okay? But first, let me tell you uh, what's happening is, I think a lot of people watch my video w without subscribing, which is good. That's nothing wrong with that. But I prefer you guys help me, you know, my channels grow more. Okay, I'm trying to do reach 1 million someday. That's my dream. So please help me. So you guys can help me. Ask friends to subscribe to Tomofujita Music. If you do that, definitely I'm going to make more and more video, more fun video. Okay, so you know the song, right? Simple C. G. D. A E. That's a great song, you know. Awesome has that, you know. But if you play that song, even you can do what happened? So, Basically, I'm following chords. So sometimes people ask me, how you... Okay, this is a good question. I play some like a blues solo. Always people say, when I play jazz blues solo, what scale are you using? That's sort of a wrong questions because so many different choices over the different chords, also different approach. Sometimes chord tone, sometimes triads, sometimes scale so so many different approach but but that was already have done you know over the old old records right good records you know so good question is what chord progression are you thinking about you know in this case you know we we, we go more but to c for a moment and a g for a moment and for a moment go D and A E. So if you know you know one shape like this, like say you know this one. This one sort of a you know open E shape. But first you have to know root fifth root major third fifth root. Sometimes people say I don't know any theory. So that's why I can play well. No, no, you know already theory. Just so you don't know how to how to define the theory, but you know all the chord. So all you have to do is root fifth root major third fifth root. This you know theory. This is the theory. First you hear the music. Wow, sounds great. Next one, root fifth major third. <laughs> Not the quick one, you know <laughs> what I'm talking about. Okay. So you go. So that's how I do. I follow the course. So let's learn triad. So triad, three types. Okay. 
See, the problem is, guitar is really E. e key is E, you know? E instrument, really, because open, open strings sounds great. But, music is really based on the key of C, most of the stuff. But C is not really cool to play, but that song has a C, beginning. So now, you can do it like this. You know, this this bar chord is like A form. Like that, A form, right? So now... So now here, 5, root, major, 3rd, 5th. So that's that's like you know. So this this position, you know, four notes. That's a second inversion, root position. So like so called triads. So any bar chords, major chords, it's a triads, you know. But you have to really understand what's in it. So the five one three this da -da 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 that's like a second inversion root position this is a happy sound you know so if you're not really happy play major triads make you happy homakaina so that root, major third, fifth root. So, you, and then somebody asked me, so how long should I practice? Long time, long time. And just don't count how long you're practicing because you just really into guitar, then you don't want to worry about how long to play. Just to play as much as you need. But you really have to be able to play that. Okay, so one more type. That's too high, see? So now, if, if I use that sh same shape in different place, if I play like this, F, like that. Do you know what I mean? So like if I play F, this is sort of root position, like you know, so that you want to know top note is root. Okay. Next one, definitely you, have, you want to start third because root, third, fifth. You want to write it down on the wall. Root, third, fifth. Okay. So that's root position. Next one, third, fifth root that's that's first inversion for starting a third you know so like that yeah so see root so you have three types you know root 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 third fifth First inversion, just the name of first inversion, don't worry, you can call banana or apple, whatever you want to call, okay? But then, that's really first inversion, third, fifth root. <laughs> so many songs, yeah. Yeah, and then sodomi. Do mi so mi so do so do mi so like three things that you have to do C E G you know I'm sorry I'm got confused a little bit I'm not talking C so this is talking about key of F any key so when you think about any key you have to know root third fifth okay root position okay root position like that B 
you know, um, patient. And then, first inversion, mi so do. And then, so do mi, second inversion. But now, we are using four notes, so like this. You want to learn that, okay? Start root, end with root. One octave. So, so this is called arpeggio. Arpeggio is so that each note separate. This is a triad. Triad is a chord. Everything kind of together. Okay. <laughs> I always think it's kind of fun thing. So triad, triad is banana. You know, three four things together but one banana is arpeggio doesn't make sense funny that's arpeggio so that's the first inversion one octave then so this lesson I want you to learn any key you pick should you be able to do this one? So if I do G F like that, okay. So if I do uh, D, you can play. See, the guitar is unique. You can, you know, you, guitar is very unique. Not everything, you know, uh, set up from the C. Low low notes is like here, right? So now. So now, first inversion, D. F uh, th second inversion. And root. Like that. If I play A, I can play here, but open strings. Arpeggio. First inversion. And second inversion like that and the E again you can play that but first inversion second inversion so practice any chord progression just all major let's do all major because this is a simple super simple super simple means just one you don't ask two Two asking two is too much to ask. <clears throat> so one major major. So be able to play different. So if you play um, blues, you know. So you go. That's one G. Then C, which is a four. Then G. <laughs> Go backwards, maybe. Then two bar over C. G again, two. And then D. C. G. Then, then, uh, <laughs> D. So, like that. 1, 4, 5, and key of G. G, C, G, G, C, C, G, G. You know, and then D, C, G, D. Okay? 1, 4, 1, 1, 4, 4, 1, 1, 5, 4, 1, 5. Or, like uh, this famous song, C. G D A E <laughs> Tricky But 
last song has a sort of paces kind of, you know. So you have to do a little faster. You go C. So practice uh, randomly, you can go up and down. So, so C, G, D, A, E. that's good enough right so basically uh, wrap up this one so you learn if, it, if it's G root position first inversion second inversion if it's G D first inversion like that if it's C second inversion root position so you have to be able to play any type of triads. This is the first semester at the Berkeley. Triad inversion. One octave. <laughs> if you don't play that, you fail. That's the final test called proficiency. Proficiency means this is the final test for the guitar department, you know. So I can tell you good stuff from the very end because not, not so many people watching this very end so we have 15 16 weeks of lesson okay and then very end we have proficiency test which is you go to room in front of two teachers and then you have to perform perform scale you know play two octaves you know say major scale from any degree and then one more scale type, you know, chromatic scale, whole tone scale, whatever, you know. And then try it. Try it inversion side by side, a lot different way, and try it inversion, uh, arpeggio like that. So this is arpeggios, okay? And seventh chord, a lot different form, seventh chord uh, arpeggios. And then you have performance piece, which is you transcribe somebody and notate it, and then you play exactly as a records or a classical piece or Tommy Emanuel transcription anything it's written and play as written or as you hear and then very end <clears throat> we have sight reading but we prepare sight reading and uh, that's too much information anyway thank you so much for watching Tomohushita music I really enjoy teaching you showing you what I know about the guitar because I love guitar guitar playing so good Guitar playing really gives you so much hope and so much um, feeling, good feeling. And, uh, you know, through guitar, you get more confidence, feel good communicating with people, so many things, you know. So I have to thankful to guitar and you, you, you know, everyone. Thank you so much. Please subscribe my channel, okay, please. And share with your friends. And uh, what else? Yes. If you like to learn more about guitar playing, guitar technique, please join Guitar Wisdom. All right, that's it. Thank you so much. And this is Ibanez AZES31. Thank you. <laughs>